word of the Lord. Whichever posture you are in is very okay. Just listen and let it sink into your spirit so well. Because you can actually go back to it and check it out later. But let it sink into your spirit very well. It is a scripture, just one verse of a scripture in chapter 10 of Zechariah the verse 1 of it and you will give me another translation when I've done reading this one I will just explain three points hopefully 10 minutes please somebody just watch time for me I've taken more than enough time but it is essential just watch the time for me ask the Lord what did he say he says ask the Lord ask the Lord for what for rain when the latter rain here is it he says ask it is the latter rain, but you need to do the asking. It is time for the latter rain, but you need to do the asking for the latter rain. The latter rain will not come until you do the asking. So he says, ask the Lord. Ask the Lord for the latter rain. The latter rain is the rain that comes at the time of harvest. The former rain is the rain that comes at the time of planting. So here it is the latter rain, the time of harvest. So at the time of your harvest, heaven says, ask for the latter rain. The latter rain will orchestrate the harvest that you are expecting. At you refusing to ask for the latter rain, your harvest will go into waste because the rain to substantiate and make the latter rain have life wouldn't have come at such times. So he says, ask for the latter rain. He could ordinarily have said, the latter rain will come. But he says, ask. So when we say, let it rain, you still need to do the work of asking for the latter rain. And so when you ask for the latter rain, when you ask for the latter rain, what did he say will happen? He says, when you have asked for the latter rain, then, then, the Lord will make flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain and grass in the field for everyone. This scripture eats me so deep. And I started thinking, what is, the, what is it about the flash? What is it about the thunder? He means at the rain being asked for and the rain showing up there is lightning there is thundering there is every noise there is something that erodes the coming of the latter rain the latter rain doesn't just show up casually like that something erodes the coming of the latter rain. The Lord will make flashing sounds, flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain. Can you open another translation quickly? Just see another translation of that quickly. He says, he says, and when that happens, when has the Lord will rain in the springtime, for he makes the storm clouds. Oh, and he will send showers of rain. So every Every fuel becomes a lost pastor, a beautiful pastor. French brethren, tonight I need you to watch carefully at what is going on in this place at this time. I need you to be careful and see the exact thing that heaven is about to set in motion in our lives in this place. He will give them showers of rain when, when God says it's time for your favor, when God says it's time for your lifting, when God says it's time for your favor for the things that you're believing for to happen. He says, ask for the latter rain and then there will be an orchestration of the cloud gathering and then there will be the shower and the shower will drop on everyone in the name of Jesus. It's time for our latter rain in this church. It's time for the latter rain of Damola. It's time for the latter rain of Moji. It's, that's, it's time for the latter rain of, of Rotimi. It's time for the latter rain of who else? Mention and put your name there. God says when you pray for that in time the latter rain will show up. God says when you ask for the rain, I'm going to give you flashing sounds. And he says when you ask for the latter rain, what, what is flashing clouds? What is flashing clouds? Flashing cloud is what normally come. The lightning, the thunder when the rain is about to fall. And that's what heaven is setting in motion in your life. In other words, God's rain of favor is going to be is going to be preceded by lightning. God's reign of favor is going to be presented by the title thundering. God's reign of favor 
is going to be preceded by those things, those drama that happens when rain is about to show up. And that is the noise that could be scary sometimes, but it's happening. And that's going to happen, and there will be a falling of the ladder rain in our lives in the name of Jesus. Watch what he said there in that scripture. He says something. He said, go back to KJV. Go back to KJV quickly. He says in that scripture, he says what happened? And he will do what? He will give them showers of rain and grass in the field for everyone. Is grass going to rain from heaven? Oh, how is grass going to happen? He says grass from grass, he will give them grass. You know something? What I see in this scripture that's going to happen to you, that's going to happen to me, that's going to happen to us at this season, watch it. That as the rain of heaven is falling, new opportunities are opening for you. As the rain of heaven is falling, opportunities that you have been blind to before, they begin to have eyes opened to see them again. Things that you didn't know were right by your side, they begin to open up again. Those are the so, so three, three, three sources of this grass. Three sources of this grass. See, when the rain falls, when the rain falls on the ground, on the ground, you're wondering where is the grass going to come from? Number one, the seed that other people in the past have sown. The seed that they have sown, that they have dropped. It's, it's not the it's seed that the people have, your, your father, your great grandfather, your uncle, your auntie, your family, your lineage. The seeds that they have sown, the good seeds that they have sown, the good seeds that they have dropped in the land before. Huh? That they got tired of cultivating it and they left it. Okay? That they dropped it on the ground. Ideas that they have cultivated before and they dropped it and left it. They started it but they felt a delay and they left it alone. They got tired of it. In this season of visitation, you will reap seeds that you didn't sow in the name of Jesus. You will reap fruits from seeds that your generations has planted in the name of Jesus. Seeds that have been dropped on the floor that you just come across. That is one way by which the, the grass the grass begin to grow the grass begin to grow the second level of how it is is it, is, it, it will also grow by whole seeds that you have planted at the time of the former rain the whole seeds that you planted the good seeds that you planted the good beautiful things that you planted the, ex the excellent things that you planted those old seeds that you have planted before and you have forgotten them <laughs> things that you started doing but you left them you got tired by yourself you left it some of you even forgot that oh I had this idea you have even forgotten the idea you tried it it didn't work and you left it alone oh but when the rain of God falls upon us that which is left for 10 years that you have sown for 20 years that you have sown for 15 years that you have sown oh the water of god falls upon that seed and it begins to grow in the name of jesus may the rain of god fall upon those ideas may the rain of god fall upon those concepts some of you are going to start doing things you thought you couldn't ever do again beautiful things excellent things you feel i'm too hot to do this no a seed that you have sown the rain will fall upon it. Someone will say, I'm too tired to try again. I think my time has passed. I don't want to try anymore. Oh, they are whole seeds that you have dropped in the ground. The rain of God come upon those whole seeds. What happens to the seed? They begin to grow again. They begin to grow again. And the third way is the new seeds that you are going to be planting. The new seeds that you are going to be planting. The new seeds that you are going to put in the ground. Oh, and the after rain comes, they are going to be dropping new seeds. During this season, during this season, you are going to have new businesses of spring. In the name of Jesus, you had a spiritual idea. You had a physical idea. You had a particular idea. New things begin to evolve from your heart in this season. In the name of Jesus, whatever I, that idea was, and you just said, let me try it, you begin to see results this time. 
Let me just try it and begin to see the favor this time. Let me just try it. They become new opportunities this time. Let me just try it and begin to see that it's entering into a level that you didn't imagine in the name of Jesus. So, oh, it's not just trying. It's not just trying in the new ideas. It's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to work because God will cause his rain to fall upon those things in the name of Jesus. So, I am praying for you tonight. Stand in agreement with you tonight. Oh, praying with you tonight. And stand in agreement with you tonight. It's your reigning time. Let it rain, Lord. It's your reigning time. It's your reigning season. The church, your church. It's your reigning time. 